Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can connect your Node.js application to MongoDB. If you don't know what MongoDB is, MongoDB is a document-oriented database that stores data in JSON-like documents with dynamic schemas. It is most commonly used in the backend for web applications and is the leading NoSQL database and can be used in many different ways from a simple key value store to a complex full text search engine. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can sign up for MongoDB and create a node app that you can connect your MongoDB database to. So without further ado, let's begin. So to first sign up for MongoDB, you're going to want to go to mongodb.com. And once you're at this page, you need to go to the top right corner where it says try free and click this button. And here you can uh, put in your company, which is optional, I'm not going to. Um, and then you can put in your work email, first name, last name, and your password. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then uh, check this box right here and then click get started free. So once you click get started free, you're going to be um, redirected to this page where it says verify your email. So I'm going to go ahead and verify my email and then I'm going to come back. So I verified my email and once you've clicked verify, you can, you'll be redirected to this page. And once you're here, you can just click this green continue button. And once you've continued, um, it's going to redirect you to this welcome page. And in a few seconds, it's going to um, redirect you to this page to ask you some questions for you to sign up. So here it asks, what is your goal today? Your answer will help us guide you to successfully getting started with MongoDB Atlas. And just for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to click build a new application. And then what type of application you're building? Uh, I'm just going to look for web since we're doing, um, since we're connecting to a node application. So I'll try to see if there's anything right here. Okay, so you can't find web, so you can just click other for now. And we can just type in web application. And what is your preferred language? Uh, since we're using node, I'm going to click uh, JavaScript. Okay. And once you've filled this out, you can just click this finish button right here. And once you've uh, clicked finish, you're going to want to click uh, starting at free right here, okay? Because since this video is to uh, basically show you how to connect to MongoDB for free, you're gonna wanna click uh, free right here, okay? And over here, uh, you're gonna want to select your region. And since I live closer to the Eastern region over here, I'm just gonna uh, select this, which is already selected for me. And once you've done this, you're going to want to look at your cluster tier. Now this, depending on how large your application is, you can um, change the storage for change the storage options for your cluster. But since I'm basically going to be showing you how to connect for free, I'm going to click all the uh, free options. Okay. And additional settings over here. This again, you can do this for paid clusters. Cluster name. I'm just going to set this to uh, YouTube video cluster okay just for example purposes and so we've gotten our cloud provider which is aws um, our region okay i'm selecting the recommended one um, our cluster tier is free forever and additional settings again you can adjust this if you're if you have paid clusters um, and then your cluster name so next i'm just going to click create cluster and then it's going to give you this capture where you need to solve it so uh, select all the squares with traffic lights this and this uh, and then click verify and now you'll be redirected to this page where you'll have to enter in some uh, authentication uh, related things so in order to log into a database you're going to need a username a password and all that kind of stuff so i'll just enter in a username i can say um, my youtube video for my username and then for password, I'll just do my YouTube video password. Whoops. Okay. 
and I'm going to be deleting this once uh, we finish this video. Okay, so I'll do create user, and it has created my user right here, and then it's going to say where would you like to connect from, and for now I'm just going to click my local environment, and then I'll just do add my current IP address. Okay, and I'm going to have my IP address blurred, of course, because of personal security reasons. And then once I've done all of this, I can just do finish and close. And then you can go to databases. Okay. So it's going to uh, take a few minutes to create your cluster. So I'm going to come back once my cluster has been created. All right. So now that my cluster has been created, I'll just click connect. And here it's going to show you three different ways on how you can connect to MongoDB. And since we're connecting to a Node.js application, we will just click uh, connect to your application. And here, over here in the driver section, it'll automatically select Node.js as your driver, so you don't need to change this, and you also don't need to change the version either. Okay. And down here, it's going to show you the connection URI that you can use to connect to your um, database from your Node.js application. Now, in order to connect our application to our database, we need to first create a node application. So let's begin doing that. So to create our application, I've opened up my terminal in a directory called node mongodb connection, and I'm going to run npm init in order to initialize a package.json file. So I'll hit enter. And here it's going to say package name. I'll just set it to the default. Version one, description, I'll just do um, node app that connects to mongodb and then entry point instead of doing index.js i'm just going to do server.js test command we'll leave this blank for now git repository leave it blank keywords i'm going to leave blank author i'll just put my full name and then license i'll just set it to mit and then i'll hit enter and now that the package.json file has been created I'm going to install two things, which are Express, which is the framework for creating our app, and Mongoose, which will allow us to connect to the database. And I'm going to do that by doing npm install express mongoose hyphen hyphen save. Okay. And now that both of those libraries have been installed, we can write code to uh, connect our Node.js application to MongoDB. All right, so I've opened up my code editor inside the Node MongoDB connection directory. And what I'm going to do first is create a server.js file. So I'll go over here and just do server.js. And now that I've created the file, I'm going to write down some code to get the basic setup for our Node application. const express, which we require express, And then do the same for mongoose. Const app and then call express app dot listen at port eight thousand. And then once the app is started, we just want to log to the console. Console dot log server started on port eight thousand. Okay, so this right here will import express and mongoose, which are the two packages that we installed earlier, and will run the node app on port eight thousand. And now that we've gotten this basic setup, we just need to go back to um, MongoDB and then copy this URI in order to connect to MongoDB. So I'll copy this URI. And I'm going to create a variable called URI to store this URI. And over here in this password um, field right here, we're just going to enter in the password for our database user. And earlier, my password was my YouTube video password. Okay, and now that we've gotten our URI done, we just need to create a function to connect to MongoDB. So I'll do async function connect. And I'm doing an asynchronous function because we don't know how long it's going to take to connect. Okay, try await mongoose.connect to the URI. And then once it's connected, we're just going to want to log console.log connected to MongoDB. If we run into an error, we're just going to want to catch that error and then do console.error error. And then call this function right here. 
Okay, so this URI, I'm just gonna explain to you what I just did. So this URI is stored in this URI variable and then we're gonna use this asynchronous function with a try catch block to connect to MongoDB. So we're gonna first wait for mongoose.connect to connect to our Mong MongoDB database and then log that we're connected once it has um, established a connection. And if there's an error, we're just gonna catch that error and then that error will be thrown onto the console. And last but not least, we just call this connect function which will connect or which will try to connect um, to our database. So now we just need to run the server. So to run the server, I'm just gonna open up my terminal and here I'm just gonna do um, node server and this will run this server.js file. So I'll hit enter and here you can see that it says server started on port 8000 and connected to MongoDB, meaning that we've established a secure connection. And if we go back here and then refresh, you can see if we go to uh, collections somewhere over here, whoops. Okay, if we go to connections, you can see that there has been a connection right here. So this basically shows you that we've connected to the database. And to go back to that page, we can just go to um, database. Okay, and right here, you can see that there has been a change in this graph. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope this was helpful in helping you connect your node application to MongoDB. Now, of course, if you're going to be using MongoDB for your project, which I assume that you are, um, and need help with all the methods for adding things to your database, I'll leave the link to the documentation for that in the description. And yeah, so this is basically it for this video. And also to see if there's a connection, you can look at this connections graph right here. And it takes about 30 to 45 seconds to update, which is why I had some trouble seeing if there was a connection in the last clip. But yeah, once you see connected to MongoDB in your terminal, then that means that you've successfully connected your app to your database. So yeah, I hope this was helpful and I hope you enjoyed. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And that's it for this video. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video.